My name is Kiva, and today I'm going to show you how to do a super blended ombre highlight. This is a wig from me and my sister's brand, Keeney Hair. This is 22 inch body wave, but I did lightly blow it out for the sake of this video. And I've already bleached and customized the lace. If you want to see a video on how I customize my units, I'll provide a link here. And here is everything I'm going to be using for today. I've been loving the pre-bonded bleach from Matrix. It gives a nice, even, and predictable lift. And I have to tell you guys about this brush from Fermar. It's called Power Painter. It has these really soft bristles and it gives me a really blended color every time. So let's get into this highlight. To start, first I Bantu knotted all of my sections up out of the way. There's eight sections total. I used three scoops of bleach and 10 volume developer. I always work way slower when I'm recording than in real life. So 10 volume will allow this bleach to really take its time and give me a lot slower lift. This is an ombre technique. So this teasing brush in addition to hand painting is one of the ways I like to achieve that. Doing a neat and tight fold with your foil is really important because you really want to lock in that heat. Heat is what helps the hair to lift. So now I'm going to start a fine weaved section by quickly moving my tail comb up and down through a thin section. Even with this weaved section, I'm still doing the teasing technique. I use a regular brush to paint the bleach on and then I switch to the power painter brush to blend the top of the section out. Now right under that fine weave section, here's where I start to do the lower ombre. So I tease it up the same, but look how much lower I put the foil this time. And I made sure I left some room at the top of the foil to blend that section out. And now you can see I have my low hanging section and then a high up section right on top of that. So I continued that pattern and did the bottom two quadrants. At this point, I mixed new bleach with three scoops and 20 volumes so that the back top two sections can process a little faster. When it comes to teasing to do these highlights, you really have to just trust the process. It is not for everybody in all hair types, but it is something that I tend to do when I'm working on really silky hair because it does brush right out with a paddle brush really easy. When I'm working with tighter curls, I use a different technique and paint within the foil without teasing. So 
so now the whole back is done you can see all my high sections and lower hanging sections I like to check how things are coming along so I went ahead and checked the foil from the very bottom portion and it looks really good it's a really nice caramelly color then I checked one of the last foils I did and it's also looking ready using the slower developer on the bottom and the faster developer toward the top helped everything to finish at the same time the whole back portion of this wig is right where I want it so I'm not gonna let it process any further I went ahead and rinsed out everything shampooed it and this is the result it's looking really blended already so when everything's done I'm gonna tone it as well then I started highlighting on the front half of the wig doing the same pattern as I did in the back Now the most important part is the top of the head. This is what you call the money shot. A lot of people like those bright highlights around the face. So I usually do about three foils back to back right off the hairline. To get highlights to look like they're growing out of the scalp, first I fold my foil before I put it in. I paint my bleach really close to the scalp without touching the scalp. When I'm folding the foil, I turn the foil upside down. In that first fold that I made, I flip that down with my tail comb and push it really close to the scalp. That way the foil should be really tight to the head and shouldn't hang at all. For the rest of the top, I made new bleach with 30 volume developer. I did my next section on a diagonal and really close to the scalp again. Very, very important, never paint a whole lot of bleach close to the top of the foil because it will pour out of that foil as it processes and turn the roots of the hair blonde and will look really spotty and is super hard to fix. After the whole front was done, I left everything in until it got to that same color caramel that I was looking for. It took about maybe 40 to 45 minutes. So I washed out all the bleach and I'm about to apply toner. I like to process the front last so it could be a little brighter, so I sectioned it off. For my toner, I used a 6N from Redken Shades EQ. I'll put all my formulas in the description. I made sure it was really saturated and brushed it through. I was looking for a neutral, darkest blonde, lightest brown kind of tone. So when the back was almost there, that's when I went ahead and painted on the front. And toner will tint the knots of your lace darker. So you have to be really careful. I had already bleached these, so I was not trying to get toner on this lace. Then I used Instacure Shampoo and Conditioner from Matrix. And just look at that tone. It is so blended, not too warm, not too cool. Just how I like it. I did some pin curls with Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. It keeps the style, but still gives it that soft, brushable look. This is an advanced technique that takes lots of practice, but my favorite thing about it is you cannot tell where highlights end and begin. 
They just seem to seamlessly start. It's long and it's tedious, but it is so worth it. And I'm using just two drops of our Vegan Serenity Oil from our brand Kini Hair. This style is actually the Kendra unit from our website. I'll link it below. All of our made to order units are done by me and come fully styled, customized and ready to wear just like this. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see more color videos like this. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.